Nesting. Nesting is to move several objects of various shapes and sizes and arrange them into a selected area or into a selected shape. This will help save material and machining time. There are two types of nesting, auto nesting and interactive nesting. Auto nesting will allow the system to automatically configure the coordinates and nest the objects automatically. For example, if we are to insert text and we wish to place that within an area such as this box, select the text on the groove so that each character will become an object on its own. Now go to transform. Auto nesting and select the area or the box you have just drawn. You will see this dialog and you can set your parameters here. Precision is the precision of the nesting and curve width is the diameter of the tool. You can choose the direction that it will nest from and which way it will go. Mirror will automatically mirror the object in an attempt to save material. In hole nesting will nest some of the objects within any space possible. Keep old will keep the original object. After you set your parameters, click OK. And you can see the objects have been nested in this area. There is another type of nesting. Interactive nesting will allow nesting to be conducted with the parameters set by the user instead of the machine or system. This will give more options while preventing accidental cutting. First, create some text. Then, draw the box again. Ungroup the text so they become individual objects. Now, go to Now go to Utility, Interactive Nesting. Firstly, select the rectangle and confirm it as stock. Next, select the text and confirm them as part. You can choose the number of times they will be nested and whether they are allowed to mirror or rotate in order to fit in the area. You can choose the angles that they will be nested over as well. Select OK and you can see that the objects have been nested. Here you can move the objects for example, select one of the objects, and if you wish to move it and nest it somewhere else, it will be snapped to the nearest object if you use the bump options here. Alternatively, you can use X mirror, Y mirror, and 
rotate it 90 degrees. If you no longer wish for the object to be nested, you can choose clear, and that will clear it, and it will not no longer be a part of the nesting. To rotate the objects, hold control and press left or right on the directional key. You can change how much it moves by by changing your step settings. You can move these objects as a group. The only limitation is you cannot move them into an area where there is another object, for example. However, if you move it into an area where a part has been cleared, you can. You can also reconfirm the clear part if you wish. Once you are done, simply close the window and you can machine these objects in this area. And that is the end of this tutorial. Thank you.